I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm just surprised. <sighs> What's happened to Mary? Happened? Ben, that's what happened. He's totally ruining my life. I mean, I, I took him to basketball practice today, and not only did he mess things up for me, he, he made a total fool out of me in front of this girl. What girl? What I don't get is why you need to put on such a show to impress what's her name? With Jennifer? Uh-huh. I mean, why can't you just be yourself? <laughs> Been myself for 17 years. I mean, the closest I've ever gotten to any girl noticing me was when my Aunt Louise said I had a smile like Michael J. Fox. So I tried to be Michael J. Fox for three weeks. <sighs> that didn't work either. Why do guys always try to be something they're not? I mean, what if you just talk to her? Talk? I can't talk to girls. You're talking to me, aren't you? Well, yeah, but you're different. I should go in. I've got homework. Yeah, me too. I should go back to Ben's. So I'll see you, Kelly. It's like bumping into you. Get it? It's a joke. Bumping into you. Oh, <laughs> right. I get it. Thanks. <laughs> I thought a lot about what Kelly had said. Talk to Jennifer. <laughs> Not so easy to do. Talk to her? How could I talk to her when I couldn't even get near her? Ugh. I give up, okay? Look, you still have two weeks to the vice versa. By some miracle, Jennifer still hasn't asked Mitch yet. Yeah, and it's going to take a greater miracle for her to ask me. I mean, now I know what girls go through. Lucas, this is the pits. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Look, if you want to win, you've got to create the opportunity. Okay, I have this idea. I don't get it, Jim. Why haven't you asked Mitch yet? I told you. My rule is the guy always asks the girl out first. But this is the vice versa dance. The, the girls are supposed to ask the boy. I will ask Mitch. As soon as he asks me out on one little date. I don't know what his problem is, Jen. He obviously likes you. I'm beginning to wonder. I don't know. Maybe he needs a little encouragement. Mitch. So why don't you just ask her out? Remember the terms of the bet? We can't ask first. That Nick's watching me like a hawk. Even as spies. This is killing me, Augie. I guess I'm just gonna have to be honest. Hey. Hi, you guys. Hi, Lindsay. Um, why don't we all go out for pizza tonight? We could rent a movie after. Sure, sounds great. But it's not like a day thing, right? I'm quitting. Am I right? Sure, Mitch. Whatever you say, it's not a fake thing. Are you okay, Mitch? I was just asking a question. Yeah, he was just asking a question. Oh, wait. I can't believe it. I've got to babysit tonight. Really? But I'll work something out. Count me in, okay? Good. thinking about what Lucas had said. You've got to create the opportunity. He'd even give me the perfect plan. All I had to do was figure out the right moment to put it into action. Nick, Nick, the kid. Grab the kid. These twins are so cute. Hi. 
Hi. Um, Nick thought we should trade places for a while. Oh, I, I don't mind. Do you? You know, I just can't help noticing how terrific you are with kids. Huh? I mean, you must get along great with them. What's her name, that girl you sit for? Alyssa? Alyssa, yeah. You know, to tell you the truth, I don't have a great relationship with Ben. I could really use your advice. Mr. Mom wants my advice about kids? Yeah. I have this great idea. Why don't I come over to your house tonight? Oh, no, Nick. That's not a great idea. Wait. Um, maybe it is a good idea. I mean, after all, I know how much this class means to you. You know, it just so happens that I have to sit for Alyssa tonight. Maybe you could come over and we could spend the evening together. All right. 52, Sycamore. 6.30, okay? I can't believe it was so easy, Lucas. You know what she said to me? She said, we'll spend the evening together. I think she likes me. Uh, slow down. You know, I created the opportunity for myself, Lucas. And now I'm going to beat Mitch Buckley. Once again, you've waited till the last minute to do your Christmas shopping. What do you do? Don't panic. Give the ultimate gift. It's 1998 or less. What? Give speed this holiday season. But hop to it or you'll miss the bus. Smoke some fur. some fur. Everyone fur. Oh, oh, oh. Cologne from Stetson. What preferred men prefer. Over the years, some pretty hungry folks have stopped by my place. The Mega Meal from KFC is back. I like Mega Meal. Your choice of chicken, a ton of side dishes, even a whole pie, all just $14.99. And this week, get a Bugs Mug. Yeah, I want a handsome mug. Just $1.99 with every Mega Meal. Collect all four. The Mega Meal from KFC. Enough food to feed your whole family. Oh, one Tasmanian devil. gonna spend the evening with Jennifer. It wasn't a date, exactly. I mean, we'd be babysitting. But I'd created the perfect opportunity. <laughs> I was on my way to winning my bet with Mitch. There it is. Wake up, would you? You're supposed to be helping me, not hiding the pieces. Brother. Is Nick here? Sort of. Hi, Nick. Kelly. Hey, guess what? Your advice worked. I talked to Jennifer and uh, I'm seeing her tonight. Great. And that's what you wanted, right? Right, right. I'm going to be meeting her in uh, three hours. Oh, I gotta get home and get ready. Um, Kelly. Yeah. Are you gonna do anything right now? No. Would you mind staying with Ben until his mom gets home? Thanks. You're a real friend. Listen, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just uh, ask. Hey, Vince. Now, what is their purpose in life? Was World War Three just fought in here, or are you? 
by Nick Kramer. Do you have a date tonight? What'd you do to your hair? Oh, it's loose, Mom. And you have to say, do you have a date like that? Like what? Like it's cute or something. It's not a date. Exactly. What do you think of this? You look so handsome. Oh, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I have a moose. Hi, Nick. Right on time. What did you do to your hair? I brought you some, uh... Donuts! I don't know what to say. Donuts? Can I have one? Well, maybe... Huh? I mean, has she eaten dinner or anything? I don't want to get her sick. Don't worry about it. Give her whatever I want. She won't trust me. See, that's exactly what I came to learn. I mean, how do you get their trust? Oh, room. What? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, their trust. Uh, well, well, I guess it just comes with experience and uh, and and being relaxed. And... Do you want to sit down? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna save some of these for later, huh? Yes, what? Oh, no. Is it going to be okay? Yes, of course I will. All right, Mom. Okay, I, I will. Bye. Jennifer, is there anything wrong? It's my dad. He isn't, I mean, you know. Oh, no. Oh, but it's serious, Nick. I have to go. Oh, but I can't go. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Do you want me to stay with Alyssa? Oh, with you, Nick. Oh, thank you. You're a real friend. You don't know how much this means to me, Nick. And to Daddy. Oh, Alyssa's bedtime's 8.30. Her parents should be home by 10. And that's your dinner. Bye. Yeah. I can't believe it. That's what a wimp. You should have seen me turn off the tear. It's not that funny, you guys. Oh, Michelle. Now, what is this supposed to be anyway? My mom did stuff with leftovers. Huh. Maybe we should go for some pizza? Yay! Whoa! Is this going to be okay with your parents? Oh, sure. We go out for pizza a lot. Especially when my mom makes leftovers. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, let's do it. So I said, you don't know how much this means to me, Nick. And to Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What kind of pizza do you like? Pepperoni. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Come on, eat up. You want to get the lenses and start the movie before the other pizza gets cold? <laughs>